All right, Loz, first official practice match under our belt. You must be really pleased with some great positives coming out of today. Yeah, I think the whole group took some massive steps forward and another opportunity just to practice everything we've been working on for what's a really short pre-season. We've had nine weeks together. I think our draftees came in two or three weeks late, so... I mean, given, given the lead-in, um, we played some good opposition as well, which is really helpful going into, into round one. Who really stood out for you today? Well, we gave Abby Dowrick a really big run um, and she, she showed what she's capable of and I know Abs will only continue to get better as well. Obviously, Gemma's had a really strong pre-season going well. Erin's um, come into the team and, and barely missed a beat. Um, and I think our back line, particularly early in the game when there was a bit of heat in there, um, they were able to execute well defensively and offensively. So, I mean, across the team, there's a lot of really big steps forward. Um, and, yeah, particularly the midfield um, at stoppage we were really happy with. You mentioned Erin. It must have been really nice having her back on the field today. What does her presence do to the group, do you think? I think, obviously, Erin's our captain and one of the most experienced players in the competition. So... Um, just for her, even just to get some run in the legs um, and get back to AFLW level. And I think one really good thing about W is it gets better every year. And so each of our experienced players come in and, um, and see a step up each time. So having Erin, who's you know, arguably the best player in the competition since day one, um, yeah, it's great for everybody. We had a really dominant first half. What do you think that we did really well? What were you really pleased to be seeing in that first half? Um, without getting too specific, just really happy with our ability to execute our game style and obviously put out our strongest um, strongest team out there in that first half. And yeah, to sort of develop from last week's trial against the Crows, um, we've seen some massive growth individually and as a team. So I think even in that fourth quarter, while we, we let a few go and, you know, even in the first half, we probably we missed some opportunities to, to impact the scoreboard um, and then gave away some, some pretty simple scoring opportunities to Essendon in that second half, which you just take a lot of learning from and acknowledge that we've got a group of girls who are 18, 19, 20 and it's really their second exposure at this level. So I think lots to learn and, and lots of really positives, big positives to take out of it. And six senior players came off at half-time for a rest. It must be really pleasing to be able to give a bunch of the young girls a real run around. Yeah, that's it. I think that can be lost at times if you just look at a scoreboard. But I think, um, you know, the reflection post game from myself and, and the whole group really is the, the steps forward that you take. That's what practice matches are about. Um, you can muck around with a few things if you need to, but um, I think for us we had real purpose in making sure that all our fit players on the list had exposure today um, and had an opportunity to try and implement what we've been teaching and, and we saw that. So really happy from, from what we've, um, we've been able to get out of today. Thanks, Oz.